The global hit to the aviation industry is projected to be $29 billion this year, a 4.7% industry-wide drop in revenue per passenger kilometer. The International Air Transport Association says the blow to African airlines could be as much as $40 million. IATA forecast in December that African airlines would make a loss of around $200 million this year, similar to 2019. Tewolde Gebre Mariam, chief executive officer of Ethiopian Airlines, Africa's largest carrier, said the virus had slashed passenger demand. Ethiopian Airlines has faced criticism online for not cancelling flights to China, like neighbors Kenya, Tanzania, and Rwanda. Meanwhile, Zambia has signed a contract of more than $824 million with a subsidiary of China Railway Construction Corporation to upgrade its rail line. China Civil Engineering Company Corporation will rehabilitate the railway line in southern Zambia over a period of eight years. As China Railway said in a statement. The railway has a total length of 403 miles, the statement said, adding that the contract value of the project amounted to approximately $825.87 million. Finally, Sudan's central bank said that the United States had informed Khartoum it was lifting sanctions on 157 Sudanese firms in line with a policy shift by Washington in late 2017. The U.S. announced an end to its 20-year-old trade embargo against Sudan in October 2017, but retained the country on its state sponsors of terrorism list. The announcement comes as Sudan is working to revive its economy and re-enter the international arena following the ouster of long-time autocrat Omar al-Bashir. The lifting of the sanctions means that the firms concerned, including banking institutions, can now undertake international transactions. Several Sudanese banks were close to reaching agreements to such issuing U.S. credit cards.